Yeah, no, I think it, I think you're totally right. And, two, for, and there, I think there's two reasons why the media is responsible for it. One is you're right. He, it's like Obama had to run a marathon without even going for a jog for oh, the last it's four like, years. It was like me yeah. going on, going, saying, you know what, I could do the Iron Man. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work out well. <laughs> oh, uh, so that's definitely part one. And I think part two of it is they've d- gone through so much effort to try to paint Mitt Romney as a an idiot, b elitist, c doesn't care about anyone other than himself. And, you know, D is this dumb Republican who doesn't understand the economy and everything else. I mean, Mitt Romney disproved all of those things within five minutes. So here's the everyone's and walking the, into this that hasn't paid attention and then for 85 more, and then 85 more. Everyone's walking into this, you know, in America who hasn't really been paying attention to this and seeing this guy as this evil, heartless bastard who doesn't know anything. And to see that performance is the exact opposite. They you, lowered the bar for Romney, the media, and they hired the bar uh, uh, yeah. for, for Obama. Did they screwed see, themselves. Did you see the um, uh, the way Romney, he kept talking about jobs. Almost every answer he would say, I, 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 we have to create jobs. And he said it with such passion. And when he, when he talked about the people who don't have jobs and the people who are struggling, you believed him. He really does feel it. That's the complete opposite narrative of anything that anybody is is um, uh, talking about with Mitt Romney. I, I just thought he just, I mean, it was bad. At, at one point, I said uh, to the guys, because we all got together, because we were like, you know, look, we could just, everybody wear some Nike teen, tennis shoes, and we'll just, the spaceship will come after the, <laughs> Going after up the debate, chimney? just in case we could go to Heaven's Gate, just mm. in case. I'm just saying, we live in Texas, <laughs> we could drive to Waco if we have to. <laughs> Um, but uh, so we all went and uh, we all came. Uh, everybody came over to my house. We all watched it together. And about a, and about 10 minutes into it, I said, somebody's got to call this fight because this is getting ugly. I mean, you were starting to feel bad. He schooled him that you, you it was just it was a it, it, I started. Obama mm-hmm. didn't even weigh in. This is this is a, this is a heavyweight championship. Mm-hmm. He didn't even weigh in. He's way out of his class on this. And then it was about 10 minutes after I said that. And I went, uh, Romney is, he's just gone MMA on him. He's just, now he's just kicking him in the nuts. I mean, he's just, <laughs> he, he is, he's just kicking him everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and Obama was just, there was a moment, I don't know if anybody saw it. Um, it was the moment, or if you can recall it, it was the moment that um, Barack Obama was talking about something. And Jim Lair uh, said, your time is up, sir. And, uh, and Romney said, no, wait, wait, I, I want to answer this. I want to answer this. Lair looked at him and said, we have to move on. He said, no, he just said this. I have to answer that. And he started the two of them, they did three screens. They had Lair, Romney, and Obama. And Romney was engaged right with Lair, and Lair was engaged with him. And all of the power was right there. And Romney looked like a leader, a president. And Obama looked completely alone because he looked back and forth at the two of them. He was like, no, wait, but I want to, no, but I, it was over. It was over. The guy, to stand in a ring and to take the title is remarkable. And that's exactly what happened. How many times do you see somebody stand next to the president, and no matter who it is, He's the president. You've seen him with the seal. You've seen him with the Air Force One. You've seen him in all of the trappings. And when that man walks on stage, he's the president. He's more than just whoever he is. I don't care if it's Jimmy Carter or Ronald Reagan. It doesn't matter. He's more than a man. He's the president of the United States. And all of that weight, and you see him, and you see the gray hair, and you start to think, man, all the things that he's been through for the last four years. And, and it happens to all of them. All of them. And it happens with, with Obama. I looked at his gray hair, gray and I hair. thought the things that he has gone through in the last mm-hmm. four years, for a challenger to come up without the trappings, without any of that, and really without the support of the media and many of the American people, nobody's in love with Mitt Romney. So he walks on stage, and all of a sudden, he is commanding that stage in, what, five minutes? Do you realize what a knockout punch that was? It was an unbelievable, I don't think, a, Ronald Reagan lost his first debate. Now, remember, he lost his first debate as badly as Obama lost. At least, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, he was... But he, he won in the end. Do not count this guy out.
Barack Obama and the machine, I believe this thing's going to get ugly. Uh, you, you haven't heard anything on Mormons. You haven't heard anything. It's going to get ugly. The labor unions, everything, ugly. Um, however, if Romney, can, if Romney can keep this up, I don't think that I have seen a president or a presidential candidate deliver this kind of per- per- performance since Reagan, and I think it may have been better than Reagan because this was substance. This wasn't just style. This wasn't, you know, I, I'm the kind of guy, I'm more like Reagan. I would go out, I'm like not good with, I don't, I don't know all the facts and figures and, you know, 27%. I, I can't do all that stuff. Romney can. Reagan couldn't either. Reagan was the kind of guy who's just like, look, this is who we are as a people. And he drove, he drove the engine knowing that he could get people like Art Laffer to do all the math. I don't need to do all the math. I just need to explain it. Romney not only could explain it, but I think he also kind of gave the vision and said, you know, this, this is who we are. This is where we're going. I don't think Reagan even did that in any of the debates. And I'm trying to think back beyond Reagan. Who do you go to? Barry Goldwater? And I don't even remember that one. I mean, who was better at a debate? Have you seen one? Yeah. From a Republican, it's probably one of the best debate performances of all time. I mean, when you talk about, you go back, I mean, Clinton had some good moments, I guess, maybe. And, you know, there were even on Clinton, the then maybe side. Kennedy? I mean, yeah. So there's been some. I mean, pe- yeah. Kennedy, obviously. This yeah. Is, this is probably the top, you know, top three performances. Man, I think maybe top two performances in the last 50 years. Yeah, and everyone was criticizing him for it, but Chris Christie called it. I mean, he said that, that, that you are going to have this debate and the whole race is going to change the next is, morning. There it is. This is how bad this thing went. This is how much the president was on the ropes. Not once did he even try to say 47%. Yeah. I Not can't once. believe that didn't come up. I mean, I can't that's, believe it. That was amazing. That was the one thing I think yeah. all of us at the end looked at each other. 47% didn't even come up. It didn't even come up. And you know Romney was prepared for it. But you know why? He was ready for oh, it. Oh, you yeah. bet. You know why it didn't come up? Because I believe that the president is so used to somebody else carrying the water for him. He just expected that Jim Lehrer was going to say that. What about the 47 percent? Yeah. So he didn't even prepare for it. He wasn't ready. He was just like, I'll let the, he'll feed him to the lions. I don't need to do that. So he wasn't prepared to have to fight his own battle because he's so used to everyone else fighting his battle. Mm-hmm. Again, it goes back to the press is the reason Barack Obama lost this last night. He was expecting it. And so when it didn't happen, he wasn't prepared. <clears throat> and I, I honestly, it was like watching a drowning man last night. There was a po- there was a point where he was just he was throwing stuff, and Romney did such a gracious job of of taking him apart. When he was like, I don't even know where you how you got to Medicare from that. I mean, it looked like he was really struggling trying to understand his line of thought, and he couldn't. Because he was fla- he was flailing, he was like a drowning man, mm-hmm. just grabbing at anything that would try to keep him up above water. It was delicious. 